Hello everyone. Based on the different request we received, I just wanted to share some more information at a very basic level so that the beginners can understand what exactly the EDI is all about. Before we proceed, first let's understand what the full form of EDI is. EDI stands for Electronic Data Interchange. What it means? If we need to understand at a very ground level, EDI means it allows the user to exchange the data between two bodies. Now it sounds like a very scientific statement and scientific way of representation of EDI. So let's simplify it. In a real time world, there are multiple businesses who are operating outside so let's think about it so we are going to talk about healthcare now before we proceed you can have the edi in any industry so if you are in finance the finance also have the edi if you are in healthcare healthcare edi is different if you are in Retail, retail EDI is different. And when I say different, the concept of EDI remains the same. Whereas the transactions, the data is going to differ between healthcare, finance, among the different domain. Now, as I said, let's talk about the healthcare EDI. Being said that, first we need to understand. So we have different bodies working together. As I said, we will talk about a very basic level. So these are the different bodies. Like you have a hospital. Then you have the physician. Then we have the state. And then think about our radiology. These are different entities which are out there and they all are connected one way or other just because of a patient. So here is our patient or you call it as a member. So this is how it is. Now the question is how the member is getting the services from all the different agencies. So when I say state, you can think about Medicaid. Now talking about all the different bodies who are operating aggressively in the market, there has to be a very flat standard. So when we talk about standard, let's jump on to see what do we see about a standard. So that we understand what EDI is all about. So here is the insurance company. Like Aetna or Sigma, you can think about it. Take just one example. And then here are your all the partners, which are like physician. Then you have the hospital then you have the radiology state these are the another side of a body now between them you have a member so this is your patient now all these bodies have to interact with the insurance company for the patient data so how this is so here is the communication this is what the communication is all about now think about it there is the insurance company which is Cigna now Cigna also have to deal with all these different physicians hospitals radiology and state think about 
if Aetna have a different type of a data standard and Cigna have a different type of a data standard, it will become so much difficult to deal with the data. So what is the simple, simple way of dealing with the data? Create a standard. Create a standard. And that standard will be put together over here and over here. So these two are following the standard and this is your gateway. This is your gateway. By following the standard, it allows the industry to deal with the data in a very standard and a simple way. That means whether the data is getting transmitted in or out from Aetna or Cigna. Similarly, whether the data is getting transmitted from physician, hospital, radiology, state, in and out, the standard is going to be the same. And that is what the use of electronic data interchange. So in a high level, if we need to understand, EDI is nothing but it allows the exchange of the data between two businesses and that would be considered at now this, this allows that you allow the exchange of the data between two and more businesses in a specific standard format that is what it is or in other way you can say that the allow the exchange of the data between two business partners these are partners these are partners who are working partners for Aetna partners for Cigna between two partners in a specific standard format and when we say the format we are just always remember we are just talking about the electronic data when it comes down to paper there are different ways to do it. So right now we are just talking about the electronic data interchange. So we'll just look at, talk about the electronic data interchange. This is what EDI is all about. So now as the example we took is from the healthcare industry. Similarly, if you are talking finance, you can think about banks, financial agencies, clearing houses, all those. So each industry have the similar type of standard which are followed as part of the electronic data interchange which allows the uh, standard rules which will be followed by each business partners to exchange the data we'll talk about some other topics so watch for the another video to understand the further explanation of what other things comes under the healthcare edi thank you